let us discuss these common characterization techniques that how they are helpful to identify to measure the size the crystal structure of nanomaterial by size i mean like the diameter of nanomaterial the height of a nanomaterial like the radius like the length so these techniques are very very helpful to identify these parameters the first one is basically x-ray diffractions the second one is h or t e m the third one is scanning electron microscopy atomic force microscopy uv vis visible near infrared spectroscopy and the last one is nmr i will link i will connect these techniques that how they are helpful to determine to identify the size or structural property of a nanomaterial. So the, the, I will I will I will explain uh, every uh, technique uh, in detail, and particularly how they are helpful uh, for size calculation. The first one is basically X-ray diffraction, and this is particularly PXRV, P for powder, because the sample we characterize in a sam in a powder form, like in bulk palm, right? Mean polycrystalline. So polycrystalline means that. There are many crystals of varying size, like big crystal here. You see here, like very small crystal. So here, the, the the basic thing is we have to use here the average crystallite size, the average crystallite size. And this is the Debye-Scherer formula. And that this is not that reliable formula. If you have already the SEM analysis and the transmission electron microscopy analysis, so better use these because you can see here, you can see by your eyes there how the grain and crystallite size looks like, right? But still, if you do not have those characterization techniques, so this XRD is better to calculate the, uh, estimate the crystallite size. So this is basically D mean the crystallite size. This is maybe in nanometer size or angstrom, okay? So this, this is the case basically constant. This lambda is the X-ray wavelength. This is scattering angle here. And this beta is basically the full width half maxima. We can easily calculate from uh, here. This is for example, uh, we have to take this, we have to use this baseline here and we have to take the half here and this be exactly the peak will be basically our uh, full width half maxima here. It should be in radian, right? So this is how we uh, easily calculate uh, size, uh, crystallite size from um, the uh, XRD. The second one is high resolution transmission electron microscope. This technique is very helpful uh, to calculate grain size. Uh, I don't know how you differentiate between grain size and crystallite size. Uh, sometimes they are equal, sometimes they are different. Basically, the crystallite size, crystallite is basically less or equal to grain. Grain. And this is less than particle. Okay, so sometimes it is equal, sometimes crystallite is less than grain. Okay, look, let's see here the HRTM. You can easily see here, look this crystallite. Very nice the grain you see here one grain because the planar in one specific direction this is, this is one uh, a grain here here we have to call a grain you see here okay let me show you uh, another grain here uh, this is this is another grain here you see here this is another grain very clear you can see the plane is in specific direction this is why I said this, this is basically polycrystalline material polycrystalline because we have many single crystal. Look this grain. Very nicely. You see here. This is another grain. Right? Okay, I don't have another uh, image. But this, 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 this is so helpful. And this is, you see here, this is another grain here. We can see that uh, the planes are in particular uh, directions. Right? Now let's discuss the scanning electron microscopy. Uh, it is also helpful to uh, determine the a morphology shape but size also here you see here yeah, it is very common to find size here this is the scanning electron microscopy image here you can easily find the uh, diameter of this particle here you see here this particle and similarly here and you can also take the help from MHJ uh, image uh, image software this is basically software to find the average uh, value of the uh, of particle and sometimes SEM is also helpful to uh, find. You, you can also find the diameter here, very easily of these fibers here, the diameter here, you see. 
And uh, similarly, the pore size you can calculate. This is basically the pore size. You see, pore size, or you can say the pore pore diameter, is also helpful. You can see here it is automatically calculated by uh, the FECM machine. Here you see this is the cross section. Uh, for your information, uh, this cross sectional uh, taking this cross sectional is not uh, easy with SEM. You have to take help from uh, F. F E S E M field emission uh, scanning it from microscopy, right? And you can also find this height. You see here, this is the uh, thin layer, the thin film here. So you can also find this height. Very important. You see here, it is almost uh, already calculated by. It is in micrometer. You see because very thick uh, film, right? Now the next one is basically atomic force microscopy. Uh, it uh, basically in the previous cryptogen uh, they, they use X-rays or electron, but here they use basically the physical contact here. They basically use the physical contact, right? So if if uh, time for example, basically pro provide the three D surface overview here of any uh, nanostructured material. Basically, it is equipped with some software that can measure the x, y, and z dimensions. You see here, this is why I say that this AFM is uh, helpful uh, uh, to calculate the uh, size. And the, the software name is basically, this is basically the software I, I took it from Google. This software is best to visualize and analyze the AFM or data. You see here, so this is so helpful. The last, the, the fifth one is ultra visible, uh, ultraviolet visible uh, near infrared spectroscopy. So it gives us the uh, information like this, and at this side it is absorbance here, and uh, this side this is wavelength here. These two equations are there. I took it from literature, so uh, I'm not going into detail. But uh, for your information, I, uh, I the, for your information that it is easy to calculate uh, the particle size with the help of this technique. So these two equations are helpful uh, to use to calculate the. Uh, particle size. The last one is nuclear, nuclear magnetic resonance. I don't have personal experience in this, but this is also helpful to calculate the uh, particle uh, size. Uh, it is mean the diameter, the height, the radius, etc.